Nationwide Homes is pleased to introduce Anatomy of the High Performance Modular Home. This feature presentation, the first of its kind, will take you inside the construction techniques used in modular construction. You will have a greater understanding about the modular home system after this presentation, and you will see why it is the future of home building. You will begin your new home building experience with an approved independent nationwide builder. These are experienced, licensed contractors. Most have site-built homes in the past, but converted to modular construction due to the benefits. Your independent builder will handle all aspects of the construction process that include project management, site work, permitting, and pricing. Nationwide is the manufacturer, a large subcontractor to the builder, and provider of engineering and marketing support for the builder. Your independent builder will begin the construction of your new home by clearing your property and building the foundation. This particular customer is building a basement foundation, but whether a basement, crawl space, or piers, the process is about the same. This image illustrates the finished footers with rebar that will join the walls to the footer. This is an example of the finished basement foundation. The foundation walls can be poured to concrete or block. Coastal regions often require a post and beam foundation, also known as a pier foundation. You can also use wooden posts. The back of this foundation will be framed using 2x6 walls. Nationwide uses state-of-the-art carriers to transport your home to your property. The carriers are designed to carry excess loads due to the weight of our homes, which makes our homes more rigid than many 100% site-built homes. Note the rigid steel structure that makes up the carrier. There are four axles and 16 wheels on this particular carrier. The home is secured using high-density tie-down straps. This is an overhead view of the carrier that provides you a better visual of the steel structure. Note the steel I-beams and cross members. The panels above the wheel assembly are there to protect the home from debris during transportation. Your nationwide home will be protected during transportation by shrink wrapping the home in high density plastic. The homes are transported using company trucks operated by nationwide associates. We prefer this method instead of hiring third-party carrier companies because we like to keep the entire process under Nationwide's control. The drivers will also help set your home. More on this shortly. This gives you a peace of mind that your dream home is in good hands. We use separate carriers to deliver oversized parts necessary to complete your home that we could not load inside the home. This image shows finished dormers and lumber to complete the gable dormer for this home. This is where the excitement begins for many new homeowners. When your home arrives on your property, the home is carefully secured to the crane in preparation to be lifted onto your foundation. This image shows three nationwide associates precisely connecting the crane cables to the home. This is a great view of how the home will be lifted from our carriers. The steel cables are wrapped around the section at predetermined points that keep the section balanced. You can see the areas where the steel cables are securing the section. There are blocks under the steel cables that overlap windows, which allow for some room so the cables do not damage the window and trim. Note how the home is slightly angled when lifted. We will explain why in a minute. This unit weighed approximately 45,000 pounds. The other section weighed approximately 7,000 pounds. Generally, there is more lumber used in modular construction than in a 100% site-built home. This is because you are erecting a puzzle that basically has four sides per unit, and the extra material is needed for transportation and lifting loads. Wouldn't you prefer a heavier home? The home is about to be permanently set on the foundation. As just mentioned, the house is slightly angled. This is so the home will first touch the foundation at one point. This will be the location with the green arrow. This is a pivot point that allows us to maneuver the home so it's perfectly aligned on the foundation. The men working on the site are nationwide associates, not hired third-party carpenters. 
Nationwide is one of the few modular home companies that does this. We do this because we know our homes throughout and understand how to properly erect your nationwide home. Also notice the clean work site. We pride ourselves on keeping the work site free of debris, which keeps the home building process moving and keeps the area safe. Before the home is permanently placed on the foundation, a two by six sill plate is attached to the top of the foundation. The sill plate is bolted to the foundation, which makes it easy for the house to be secured. The image shows the home nearly placed on the foundation. This is a view of the first section on the basement foundation. The principle will be the same whether on a cross space or pier foundation. From this view, you can see the electrical wiring run to the basement. Near the ship loose windows, you can see temporary support walls that will be removed when both sections of the home are secured. Also, notice the cabinets already installed. This is a view from beneath the modular unit. The insulation is already installed, and you can even see the details of the floor construction. Typically, in a basement design, insulation isn't necessary in the floor, but this customer chose to include it. Still looking at a view from under the home, modular construction allows nationwide to install the electrical in yellow and water lines in red and white at the factory. The holes drilled into the floor joists are precision drilled using jigs and other measuring tools. Also notice the three quarter inch OSB floor decking. Modular construction allows Nationwide to install all the electrical at the factory down to connecting the electrical panel box. The panel box is often installed inside the house, but this customer chose to have the panel box placed in the basement. To accommodate this request, which is not unusual, we just increased the length of the electrical wire as shown. The panel box and wiring were tucked and secured between the floor joists during transportation. There is no additional inspection needed for electrical connections on site. Nationwide thinks about all energy saving techniques. Here we sealed around the electrical boxes and water lines entering the home. This is a Cape Cod design. Therefore, there are only two modular sections, also known as boxes or units. At this point, they are preparing to raise the roof that will provide additional living space on the second floor. This particular model has two bedrooms and two baths upstairs. Let's take a minute to discuss the roof structure details. This photo illustrates the hinge system used to raise the roof and end wall panels on a Cape Cod design. Hinges are precisely placed using engineered calculations that allow the roof to rise. The hinges not only allow the lifting motion, but also act as a fastener. The roof system is already secured to the exterior and interior walls of the home using screws, nails, and adhesives. This photo illustrates a great example of the hinge system. The roof trusses are two by six and secured to OSB panels using bolts. This is the same roof shown in the previous photo only pictured in the factory during production. As the roof is raised, the crane is doing all the work. The crane is connected to straps that are attached to the roof structure. The straps are of similar strength and design used in the automobile seat belts. The nationwide associate shown in the photo is pulling the knee walls out. The knee walls are also hinged to the engineered roof truss system and are designed to unfold as the roof is raised. The knee walls are about three feet high and are designed to spread some of the roof load. Here is an example of the knee walls in place. Now that the roof structure is partially raised, the end wall panels are installed. The panels are engineered the same way as the exterior walls on the first floor. This panel will have an exterior window installed. You may also notice the overhangs are currently flipped up. These are also hinged and will be flipped down and secured. Before finishing the roof, we take the opportunity to lift and load all the materials needed to finish the second floor. 
Using the crane makes the job easier and saves time. The material shown here will be used for interior walls and the dormer over the front porch. Can you see how it's easier to lift a fiberglass shower stall using the crane while you have it there? Here is a closer look inside the second floor space. The knee wall helps align the roof rafter and supports some of the load. Collar ties located and secured to each roof rafter support the roof loads evenly. OSB floor decking will be installed as a subfloor. If this were a ranch model, the look would be very similar. The roof and ceiling overhead would have less pitch and floor decking wouldn't be installed. But nationwide ranch models all include storage attic space. This is still day number one of this home set. The roof is raised and secured. Tar paper and some shingles are already installed. Now it's time to add the dormers. These dormers were fully constructed in the factory and delivered to the job site on the parts carrier. The dormers come fully sided with windows installed. The dormer is now secured to the roof structure. Notice how clean the build side is. This is because there is very little waste using modular construction. This is a great image of the interior dormer structure. The dormer is screwed and nailed to the roof structures as one complete piece. Let's take a quick look inside this home. Remember, this is still day number one of the home set. The home is now permanently secured to the foundation. The kitchen is 95% complete, cabinets installed, electrical and plumbing completed. The appliances will be installed when the home is just about move-in ready. This is the dining room. This is the finished look straight from the Nationwide factory. The master bathtub and tile work are completed at the factory. This is a special walk-in ceramic tile shower designed, built, and finished at the Nationwide Homes factory. This is the home after one day. The day began with just a basement foundation. Now the home is considered dried in. What this means is that the interior portion of the home is protected from potential damage from rain or snow. This is the home on day six. You can see the front porch is starting to take shape. Notice the property is still clear of debris and waste. This is a perfect example of how modular construction controls material waste. This concludes part one of Anatomy of a Modular Home. In part two, we will explore the high-performance construction techniques used within Nationwide Homes Factory Production Facility.